Welcome back, everyone. We're going to be doing this kind of spooky <laughs> cat. And we're going to make the background. This is like fog or smoke or whatever you want. Probably fog. We're going to make them into a ghost. <clears throat> so I went ahead and um, gessoed my paper. And this is just uh, golden black gesso. You can use uh, just a regular craft paint if you have it. Would be fine. Try to stay away from artist grade for your background because I, you want a little bit of tooth to it for what we're going to be doing. Make sure it's good and dry. And hey, Lena, good to see you. <clears throat> we're going to do this... Uh, little ghost i'm gonna make this into a ghost and a, and a cat so this is a inspired picture from pinterest uh, there was no name on it um, it was a someone using it for their blog i think it was <clears throat> But I, I liked it. I thought it was cute. So, hey, Dorothy. So I thought we could, uh, we'll change it up, of course. But I like the way the cat is and the rain coming down. Kind of spooky. So I want to try just black gesso and white gesso. That's all we're going to use. Two colors. Well, they're not really colors. They're tints and shades. <clears throat> So I'm just going to put some gesso on here and a little bit more black. Let's see. And then... I have my water to the side here. Is the lighting good for you or could it be a little lighter? Let me know. And if anything else is a bit off, let me know. If you've got questions, put them in caps. It's actually snowed today <laughs> here. The leaves are still on the trees. And it's snowing. But it'll melt because next week's supposed to be gorgeous in the 20s. I, so I think that's going to be our um, little um, teaser of what they call Indian summer. I don't, it's probably not politically correct anymore to say that, but I don't know how else to say it. So if you want to play along, um, this is going to be a very simple one. For all my members, if you want the uh, a, a traceable, let me know and I can trace it up for you. But this is fairly simple. You could probably do it on your own. I'm going to bring you guys in. A little bit more. <clears throat> I'm just reading chat. I think everything looks good. I'm going to be watching on my uh, StreamYard page. <clears throat> All right, and I took out a bunch of uh, paintbrushes. So if you have a deer foot that's a little bit on the um, 
stiffer side, I guess you could say. This one's a uh, royal, just royal, I think, paintbrush. It's not the best. The hairs are starting to come out, which is a pain, but <clears throat> you can get them in different sizes. Here's a little bit of a smaller one. This feels a little stiffer. You can also get scrubbers. Now this one I haven't used. Um, this is a silver scrubber dome, half inch. And they're kind of stiff. You can get them in different shapes, but they're fairly stiff. There's a bit of a longer one. Um, this one is a blender, they're calling it. It's a little bit uh, not as stiff, but this one's by Princeton, Velvet Touch. And then I thought I'd try this one also. This is a Blue Ice by Dynasty. And I only have a couple of these. But they, they're a little on the stiff side too. So I thought we could try that. And then I do have some of these also. And they're a little on the stiff side also and there's a Princeton catalyst you can get them in different sizes um, different shapes so I thought we could try stuff out take a drink so have any of you been doing fall or uh halloween type of stuff do you like scary or do you like cute or what do you like as far as the halloween type mood so i'm just gonna i guess i can leave this here i'll just put it up here i guess or how am I going to do this? Are you going to want to see this picture? This is, um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to start from the back and work our way forward. So we're going to do the ghost first. So we don't have to worry about the cat. So I guess you don't really need to see that because the ghost can be any shape. So if you want to stick to this shape, take a screen print. I might change it up. We'll see. Now, this would also be an awesome one to do with pastels. Perfect for pastels. Let me try that another day. Okay, so I have my background ready. And I'm going to make just a basic shape. And we'll start off with, let's start off with this one, the Silver Scrubber, just to see what it's like. I haven't worked with this one. This could be interesting. Now, when you're doing kind of foggy look, what you want to do is you want to have it more or less a dry brush effect. So you want to work that into your, into this brush. That's got a little bit of green on it. Oh, well. So I'm going to start from the center. It's kind of like when you're doing clouds. You work from the light or the brightest area and then work your way out. And that way, by the time you get to the outer edge or where it's not uh, bright anymore, but more um, ghostly, I guess you could say, then it, uh, it starts... I need more. Fair amount on this one, I guess, because it's so big. So we'll start off. That is mixing with the um, gesso a little bit, but that's fine. You can always go back over it with white. I don't know if I'm liking it or not. Kind of hard to work up um, 
No, I don't like it. Let's try this one. Now this is a uh, Filbert. Might be all right once you get. I'm not liking those. Hmm. Let's try this one. This is a little softer. You just keep going to your outside edge. Or smoky edge, I guess you could say. Almost looks like smoke, but just have to play with it. It's not bad. I can always go back if I don't like it and paint right back over. Let's try. I'm going to try this one. <laughs> this is how I normally do my stuff when I'm experimenting. I'll play with brushes, see what they do. Is it going to be the right thing? This one's a little bit too soft, I think. It's kind of like the Goldilocks thing, eh? Find the right brush. Nope, don't like that one either. Too soft. Um, let's try the deer foot. I have done deer foot before. A lot of times it works. I think this one's too, too, um, soft. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Not doing it for me. Hmm. I've lost my touch. I'm going to let that dry or I'm going to pull it all up. What do you guys use when you're making a smoky area? Just trying to figure out what brushes to use. <laughs> well, this is where the cat normally would be, so let's see if I'm gonna try this one more time. Seems like these ones, you need a lot of paint to get it going. Just that it doesn't uh, hold anything. It is more of a scrubber. I don't like those. Hmm.
kind of looks like a <laughs> curly uh, I'm gonna get let's see do I have a big let's try this I'm gonna try this big bristle brush not getting what I want. You do have to play with it. Let's dry it. Looks like a mess. Can somebody get um, that one person there? Uh, Lena? I'm on. Uh, I'm not on YouTube, so I can't do it. I tried and think it worked. Okay, thanks. So, get more real white in there. Make sure you dry your brushes off. When you're doing this, though, you don't want a wet brush. Hey, Deb. Okay, we'll dry that again. Now I'm going to put a little bit of black on my brush. I'm going to start doing the same thing, but working my way back in once it starts to dry up a little bit. Again. 
soften those rough edges. So just, there's a bit of, because there is texture on my um, paper from the gesso, just adding a little bit of this white to soften those textured areas. I don't have to worry about down there um, as much because that's where the cat's going to be sitting anyways. It's kind of back and forth. Lightning, darkening, lightning. <laughs> Just putting a little bit on my brush, though. Take a um, chalk pastel or um, get a pastel pencil. You could do this with um, pan pastels too if you wanted to. I'm just going to get a, pe a pencil out to draw with. And I'm probably going to use a gray because I want to see on top of the white also. But I don't want it too dark. Okay. And the gray. That one should work. Sharpen it. Oops. 
All right. So we're going to put the cat, make sure it's dry. And he's going to sit in here. So his ear is going to be about there. His head, his other ear. And then he looks like it's kind of a um, Mancoon style cat. So they have a real big fluffy mane. And then there's a little, it's quite fluffy. And we'll put him sitting on a fence probably. So we will only see the fence in this area maybe. So this will That. And then there's a fence here, kind of rickety old thing. And this is all shadowed basically. Uh, I guess I could do that part in black so you can see. So this is the cat. They're fuzzy. He's fuzzy. It goes down like this. And his mane is kind of like that. And his eyes are approximately there. And then you can just barely see a little bit of his, his nose there. So very, very simple, um, basically. <laughs> okay, so what we can do is fill in more of this if you want to with um, uh, more white or depending on yours, how yours are turning out. I want to get rid of some of these brush marks. So I'm going to add a little bit more white to this area. I know this area is going to be uh, where the main part of the ghost is. And I'm going to make a little, I haven't decided yet whether I want a face or just the typical holes in the eyes. <laughs> What do you guys think? What should I do? A hint of an actual structural face or just the holes? And now this part can be black. I know I want this uh, around the edge, mostly black. So that the cat shows up a little bit more. So I can do that. I trust you, Kathy. This is way cool. <laughs> well, that doesn't help. Thank you, but <laughs> give me a help me decide.
don't be scared dot um <laughs> i know no face i always go with holes okay Anyone else got an idea? I'll fill in the cat while you guys ponder about that. So the cat, I know is black, so I want to fill in the cat. You don't have to use this brush to fill the cat in and just using it because it's in my hand No scared Kim ghosts don't have faces though. They are just a presence. <laughs> True. This is just gesso. It's what I uh, put on my paper before I started. It's just a black gesso from uh, Golden. And I think you can get different ones now from different manufacturers or just use a craft paint as long as it's got a uh, matte finish. If you don't have anything that has a matte finish, um, you could always use a matte gel medium over top of it. Would be fine. You want a really good coat though. Um, you don't want to be able to see any color through this or any color white. Nice and dark. All right, and now I think I guess we could just do the holes so to speak I'm just going to do them in black for now and It just let's try pointed brush instead. Let me get a, a good
like that. Now we can take this. Now we'll play with that a bit more as soon as those eyes are dry. So let's do a little bit of this white and the, the moon is shining so it's going to shine on the fur edges of this fur you want to make sure you're you don't have too much um, water in your brush and make sure it's clean if you've been playing with the black that black gesso is really hard to get out I don't know why but boy is it strong still in there so we can take do I want to use that or the bristle mm. actually I think I think, I'm, I think I want to use try this so I'm going to put the I will kind of wipe it off and then I just That. Just go around the edge and swipe. As you get down into this area, you want to add white to your brush. You don't want a lot of white, um, thick paint. You want it more dry brush. Just wiping off the side here. So as you get into this part, you want to and it would actually show a little bit into the cat. Oops. A little bit clumpy. I'll just add some black. Go back in. that dry a little bit. Um, slightly. So I'm just going into the cat slightly. You can do a little bit in here. Got something in there. Hair.
And just a little bit in here on the top of his head. a little bit down into the main body not much as you're going around where the um, fur goes around his neck might be just a bit oh. a little bit too much there we'll fix it though And a bit more in here. And then add some black. Let's fix this. looking see where else I want to fix it let me just take a liner here fix these ears so that they're a little bit nicer shape we'll give them a little point Kim. All right, so those dry, not quite. His eyes. Let's give this a, a dry, and then we'll put his eyes in for dot. up the eyes a little bit. Um, and this eye, I'm going to use a pencil. Right about 
Uh, and his little nose is right about there. Maybe a little bit lower. Okay, and then this is just going to be kind of a grayish color, so we're going to mix a little bit of that white with a smidge of black. And we'll paint in the eyes. So, thanks, Lena. And the nose is just like a, the slightest, slightest shade of of um, off black, basically. So it's almost black, but not quite. And it's kind of like a little square. Might need a little bit more than that. And you can take black and fix it up. Doesn't have to be much because he's basically in the shadows. So um, I'll let the eyes dry. Oops. And now this is dry, so we're going to take that brush again, the Deerfoot stippler, go in with that white again, and just kind of so he's not so bright, the eyes. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that gray that we made up for the cat eyes. And I'm just going to make it a little darker. Nope, darker yet. Just make a little bit of indication where the head is. Okay, so it doesn't, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, let's do the eyeballs. So the eyes are going to be a little bit darker. 
on the top part. So you can darken that a little bit with the darker gray. And then a bit darker again, or almost dark black, but we'll put the slit in the eye, and it's will be from the top almost um, three quarters down, I guess. I went past the eye a bit. So just fix it up. Hmm. A little bit there. that and then take a a little pin or there it is and put a highlight in so there and over here The ghost doesn't get a highlight. <laughs> okay, and then now let's do a little bit on the fence down here. So take uh, probably this scrubber brush from the top. I want to put. Of rough lines and take some black. Just on the very end of my brush. See that? Go over top of what you just did. And that'll just calm it down a little bit so it's not so bright. Speckle. Just on the top here. Or The would be would be um, showing its open side. I don't know how you'd explain it. Where you see the top part of the grain instead of the side of the grain. Okay, then we can take a little bit of white and just dab a few little areas where this that ghost would be. I guess he's illuminating the cat in the fence because there's no moon out. <laughs> Okay. 
all right so we'll let, now we need to really dry it because we're going to add rain to it now this is the scary part All right, so the the rain. Let's see, I gotta get a toothbrush. The rain. See how it's rainy. <laughs> so because I want to have it showing on the white part, it's gonna have to be a gray. So mix up a medium, basically color of gray. nice and full. I'll test it first. Yep, should work. Now I want smaller, um, I don't want large ones. I want Okay, that's it. With that. And then you could dab off some if there's too many. But now what I want you to do is take a baby wipe. And swipe it. The same direction. It looks like it's raining. This one's not, I think it dried that fast. Wow. It still works. Okay, let's dry it and see what it looks like. didn't work. So what I'm going to do, let's see if it comes off the cat. Yeah. Don't get it off before it dries completely. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, 
let's make it hmm, maybe it was too watery let's try it again a little bit more I'm a bugger for punishment here. <laughs> Let me think. Um, I'm going to get... My... Where did I put it? My swiper. Hmm. Oh, there it is. See if this works better. That's a little better. show up much on the, the ghost. Not bad. <laughs> you have to be brave. You don't have to do this. Let's see. There is the uh, rain. Now this one has a few stems. We could put those in. A few um, dark uh, branches here and there. Let's just put a few in. We don't need a lot. Okay, 
use and I think I'm going to put a little mark in his eye make him a little bit darker just a mark in the center like that there's his eye add you know use your well therapy shouldn't be used but do I have your pens your um, acrylic pens to add more um, detail on your branches and stuff Depends how much you want to do, of course. This um, yeah, that look not too bad. All right, I think it's done. What else? Um, so an hour it took, guys. You can do this. I know you can. So. You don't have acrylic paint? Try it in um, pastels or watercolor. Might be kind of cool. Or gouache. So, is there anything you want me to show you? I'm just going to sign it. Thanks, Doc. I think it was fun. <laughs> I love doing these. So if you want a, a drawing for the cat, let me know. But I'm pretty sure you could do this one. There's, it's just basically a furry outline. That's it. Are you? you oh, thanks, Sharon. So if there's anything else you want me to do or show you. Thanks, Kim. Oh, thanks, Nina. So are you. If you don't know about Lena, go check her. That's Miss Linux 2010. 
is who I'm talking about. Go check her uh, YouTube out. She's a fantastic artist. The cat looks like she is in on it with the ghost scare. Yeah, of course. <laughs> They're buds. All right. Well, if there's no other requests, I guess I will let you guys go and you can try this. And if you do, put it on Instagram or Facebook. Um, you can take me, Kathy Arbor, or on Instagram. Uh, hashtag paint with Kathy Arbor and uh, that way I'll be able to see it you could do this in purple too that would be cool black and purple or blues and black all right I'll let you guys go then um, have a fantastic weekend it's supposed to be nice and warmer thanks Lena uh, nice and warm here so I gotta do a bunch of bulb planting <laughs> before the snow comes back and uh, probably a little bit of sketching all right take care of my friends and get out there enjoy the weather while we still have it and take your sketchbook out do some sketching have fun dot all right. Bye for now. Have a great one.